Hi everyone, welcome to day 18 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one of the data analyst interview question for hotel booking company. So let's see the question. Write SQL query to find out each hotel best performing month based on the revenue. So inside this uh, table we have basically booking ID, then we have booking date and hotel name and the total guests, total nights and the total price. So we need to basically find out for each hotel what is the best performing month in each year so we have the data from 2022 to 2023 so we need to find out which is the best month based on the you know revenue like which month the hotel has collected the highest revenue now let's start writing query to solve this question so first i'll basically create a year a column by using this date uh, you know booking date and a month column so that i can basically do a group by by the year and month so first i'm selecting i'll just give some space here so first I'm selecting basically month. I'm using XTEC functions here to basically create a month column. So first I would create year column. So year from order date, which is sorry, booking date, booking date and saving SS here. Here, then I'll just use this XTEC functions one more time. Now this time I'll create a month column. So I'll say instead of year, this time XTEC month month from this booking date and save it as month okay. now I'll basically need the hotel name which is this column hotel name column which is this one and because we want to see each year each month and hotel name and their revenue you know so we can say sum of this total price which is this one because we want to see revenue at the end total price as revenue okay. so everything I'm getting from this table which is hotel bookings now I need to do a group by by each year, month and name because these are the categorical column now. Inside each year, basically I will do a group by by each month. Now inside each month, I will be doing a group by by basically each hotel. So let's just go ahead and say group by 1, 2, 3 like all these 3 columns. So 1, 2, 3. Oops, 3 yes. Now basically I will have each hotel and they are basically monthly revenue inside each year. So let's see. Now you can see this basically for each month we have the revenue for each hotel okay and we have done the group by now we can order this data by doing order by in this uh, revenue column so we can just go ahead and say order by here then we want to do a order by by with this revenue okay now we can say here descending and revenue descending okay now let's just run it yes perfect now we are inside 2022 now 2022 we can see the hotels and their revenue so now if you see this 2022 we have like uh, you know multiple month but the highest revenue which is in 2022 for hotel B which is $600 and that is the December month and the second highest revenue which is again $600 that's the February month so in both month this hotel done the same uh, you know kind of revenue so these two are basically the you know best performing month for hotel a now for hotel b you can see which is uh, you know 550 so this 550 are basically best performing month right so this is how we can basically you know create a window functions here and kind of use a ranking to basically solve this problem now we cannot do window functions in this same table we can basically go ahead and kind of use a sub query to select all these columns and then we can kind of you know add a window functions so let me just show you how we can kind of solve it so you can say select we want to select first from this uh, you know table first we want to select the year which is this column then we want to select uh, month which is this column okay. then we want to select the hotel name which is going to be this one hotel name and lastly I want to select basically the revenue which is going to be this one and then I will be using a window functions called rank now if you do not know about window functions leave a comment I'll make a video very soon so inside this window functions I will be doing a partitions by the year okay. so I'll do a partitions by year so basically I'm grouping the data for one year in one go okay now other than year I will also do a partitions by basically hotel name so then basically I will do so inside one partition which is going to be here now inside the year I am doing one more partition which is by the hotel name so for each hotel name I will have basically the year name month and the you know hotel name and their revenue then I will do a order by by basically this revenue column 
so i'll go ahead and say order by now order by revenue in descending so i can just use as rank okay now if i just run it from which table i'm getting all this data oops so from this table which is the table below so i can just put all this query inside a sub query and now i can just close this bracket and i can just give a nice name here psc and the name i want to give is like monthly revenue you can give any name so i'm just giving this monthly revenue so basically from the this sub query is going to run first it's going to create this table which is this table then from this table i'm basically selecting the columns and basically i'm using a window function which is a rank now i can just go ahead and run it so that you will see the difference i just missed a comma here let me just keep the comma and i can just run this query now i can just show you i have the year name okay then i have the month name and each hotel and their revenue now the hotel which did the highest revenue for this year okay now this hotel which is hotel a and did the highest revenue in this month which is month 7 that is coming on the first which is rank number 1 now this is fine we have got for this hotel number 1 and the hotel number a and they are the highest performing month now let's see so now let's see in 2022 hotel b now hotel b again we are creating one more partition so first partition we are creating by the year now the second partitions inside this we are still inside this 2022 but we are you can see the second partition it is created by the hotel name because these partitions we have given a ranking one to so on so on now inside this partitions we are giving another ranking right which is one 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 so we are still in the 2022 so because we have done two partitioning so now hotel b has the highest revenue which is month uh, which is going to be feb and the december they both has done same revenue so that means we can filter the data by one so that is how we can select basically for each year basically for each hotel and their best performing month right so you can see that's going to be for 2023 as well now if i filter the data by this column one and i'll be getting basically 2023 hotel a which is the highest revenue that is going to be month of july and let's see the hotel b now hotel b has done the highest revenue that's going to be again 2 and 12 so that means february and december so to apply filter i can go ahead and basically you know use one more sub query to select everything select everything from the below query so i can say select everything from below query which is this one and then i can kind of use the filter by query conditions where r n equals one okay so let's just put this sub query little forward like this one so that you can understand it better okay now i can just keep some alias call as sub query or i can just give any other name but this is fine for me so if i just run it now i will only have the hotel names and their highest performing month revenue so now you can see for 2022 we have hotel name which is a so a did highest revenue which were which was like 550 dollars and that is in the basically month of like seven so similarly i have the same which is with the hotel you know kind of b so b highest revenue was like you know the december and february which is 600 dollars so this is for 2022 now 2023 we have the same things so this is how we can kind of solve any kind of complex a problem by simply again breaking the problem into a small small problem so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you want to practice the same questions i'm going to basically add a link in the video description so you can download this schema and basically practice it that's it take care bye bye have a good day